In ancient times, celestial bodies such as the sun, moon, and stars were central figures of the zodiac. They were considered to be gods and goddesses, and based on the zodiac, the movements of the heavens have become a means of divination. Scripture informs us that they worshipped the created more than the Creator. In the book of Kings, Josiah ordered that those who worship the sun, the moon, Mazaloth, and all the hosts of heaven be put to death. Much can be learned about the significance of lights in the heavens from the Hebrew lunisolar calendar. The beginning of months is determined by the observation of the moon. The feasts of the Lord, including Passover, are based heavily on lunar timing. Days and years are calculated by the position of the sun, as well as the stars. Our present calendar does not coincide with those used in biblical times. It is a solar calendar adopted by Pope Gregory in 1582. Many of the months are named after pagan gods, the very same gods acknowledged by astrologers in their use of the zodiac. Not only that, but our days of the week are named after astrological symbols including the sun, moon, and Saturn. Scripture informs us that the sun, moon, and stars were created for signs, seasons, days, and years. Thousands of years have passed, but just as in the beginning, those very same heavenly bodies can still be relied upon for our calculation of time. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. David Reeves Ministries, The Heavens Declare the Glory of God an exciting one-hour DVD on creation and biblical astronomy. Sign up for our email updates at davidreeves.com to receive free content and videos.